Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and today I'm going to introduce to you Shopify's Fraud Filter app. It's a really simple free app by Shopify. There's mixed reviews about it, but I found, found that a lot of our clients use it. They're happy with it, so I wanted to introduce to you this thing. What it is, very simply, is it helps you filter out fraud. It doesn't stop fraud. It helps you filter out. What does that mean? When a customer actually makes an order, after the order is made, the app will look at the rules that you set, what they call here custom filters, the rules that you set up, and if the rules apply to that order after the order was made, it'll either cancel that order or flag the order, okay? So again, it's not stopping fraud, it's just filtering it out and helping you do better business, not to ship to them, not to lose the order, just give the money back, cancel the order, depending on what you're doing, and then you'll be fine, okay? so. Let's look at it right now. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to give you a few examples. So I went to the back end. I already installed the app. Uh, you can do that. Go to the app store, you know, click, go to here, click on add app, etc. So now I have here a fraud filter app. And when you install it newly, you have nothing in the app. There's no rules. This app uses the rules that you set up to filter out the fraud. It doesn't suggest anything. So based on what you know is a normal order and what you know is not a normal order, you can actually set these up. So I wanna show you a few things. So I'm gonna click on add a new filter right now. Okay, really simply, either you can cancel an order or warn about the order. When you're new and you don't know what you're doing or you're just new and you're, you're trying, to, trying out different rules, I always suggest to use the warning. And over time, if you think these things are for sure a legit rule that always applies and it doesn't filter out real customers, you can also cancel the order automatically. Again, this happens after the order is placed. So I'm gonna show you two examples. One, I'm gonna use the cancel order, one, I'm gonna use the warning. So let's make a rule called orders $50 or more. So if someone orders $50 or more, I'm gonna warn on the order, make sure I don't ship this order, or at least I evaluate the order. So $50 or more, I'm gonna set up the rule. So the nice thing about this is you can set up a lot of different rules. The rules are general rules, which are the most popular ones, like the price, you know, the price is $50 or more of the, of the order, things about the credit card, the billing information, the shipping address information, stuff about the client, for example, blocking a certain IP, for example, or user agent, like, you know, a certain spam bot, things like that, and information about the customer, right? So, for example, if a customer uses the same email to repeat, to do fraudulent th stuff, you can just filter out that email itself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select total price, which is the price of the products plus tax plus the shipping, which is sometimes called the grand total, or you can do just the subtotals of the products. Okay, total price is equal to or greater than 50, okay? And what do I wanna do? I can also re immediately restock the product inventory, send an email, or refund the transaction. You can do those but I'm gonna remove them right now. So I clicked on save and now I have this. So now I have one of my filters and I can see how many orders were affected by that filter. So let's go ahead and actually make an order, okay? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to my site. This is my test site. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna find a product that's at least $50, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, view my cart and checkout. Let's go to checkout and this should trigger the order after it's made because it's $50 or more. Okay, so let's go here. I'm gonna proceed to check out pretty quickly. Okay, and again, these, these rules, you need to think about how you set them up. Okay, and I just placed the order. So you have to think about how to set them up. What is a re, an irregular order? Um, and over time, you can make adjustments. Okay, so I got my order 1069. If I refresh the page right here, I can click on obviously here and I can see one order was affected. If I look at that right here, I can see, okay, this is order 1069, 1069. So it was actually filtered. So let's look at the order. Clicking on the order will take me to my orders, normal order page to that order. And if you look here, if I scroll down, we have the fraud filter and it's in the medium. Okay, why is it in the medium? Because the fraud filter matched the rule of what we just set up. If I view the analysis, 
you'll see this is the normal Shopify fraud analysis. But here, there's another one called fraud filter, and this is why it is. So once I do this, I can actually start to evaluate, okay, do I really want to ship it? Yes, no. Again, this is a filter to help me save my time. Okay, great. So now I have one. Let, let's set up another one right now. And I'm going to go here to apps and fraud filter. Okay, great. I'm going to set up another one. Okay, and here I'm going to actually use the cancel and I'm going to basically specify, for example, the, let's find a better example. Let's say the shipping country, second, shipping, let me do this. I'm going to do here, the email is, let's say, J at just my email, okay? So J12345 at, okay, I'm gonna filter that, okay? And I'm gonna remove these, I'm gonna cancel this, okay? So I'm gonna say um, filter out J's spam email, okay? And I'm gonna click here, save, okay? Now, one, one very important thing to happen to, to note is if you have multiple rules, the rule, the filter can only apply to one of the rules. So in some cases, you might have a filter, you might have an order that applies to multiple rules, but the system will only basically put them um, in the orders affected based on the first one that you set up. So if you've set up this one before and it's both a, by Jay's email and it's above $50, then this one will actually be caught. So what I'm going to do just to filter that out, I'm actually going to change this so we can see that the email will be filtered. So now I'm going to go here and go back to my order. Okay. And I'm going to go to the same $50 and I'm going to click on add to cart and I'm going to proceed. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same email. I'm going to ship it. Okay, same email, I'm gonna ship it to the same place and continue and you'll see that the order is gonna be created and we can see how it looks a little bit different right now. Okay, so now if I go here, once the order is created, let's wait for a second. Okay, I got my order 1070. So now if I refresh the page, you'll see that I have one based on Jay's email right here. Okay, great. And if you notice that, I'm gonna click on the order and now we specified the cancel. So if you notice, it's a little different. So first of all, I have it canceled right here. So once it's canceled, I can go ahead, refund it, you know, specify everything, right? Now, another thing about the, the actual action. So we talked about the fraud analysis. Because it's canceled, I have a high fraud filter, a high analysis, right? Uh, and in addition, in the timeline itself, you'll be able to see that the app actually specified these reasons. For all filters, even the one before, you'll be able to see this information. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to go here. And obviously, the, high, the risks itself are here. Okay, and right here, okay. Um, so it didn't filter because of the warning, uh, my mistake, apologies. It'll only put it here, but the canceled will put it over there. Okay. Um, other than that, that that's basically it. These are the filters. Uh, this is how you set it up. If you, uh, one more thing is if you're not sure about this, we made another video, which I'll link in the description for fraud analysis, just to explain a little bit more about this side, the Shopify fraud analysis, what this means, how to minimize your risk. I'll link it up. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate your time, guys. Um, thank you very much.